Just don't stay too long in that bus because you need your team and your team needs you. Together we're healthier, together we're stronger, and ultimately together we belong. There was always strength in numbers. We could pull each other's, uh, we could pull resources, we could watch each other's back, we could leverage each other's strengths. And then if you got excluded from that group, your survival rate plummeted and thus your body went into a stress state. Same thing is happening today. When we feel disconnected, when we don't feel that sense of belonging at work, we become vulnerable. And we see all kinds of other things uh, spurring from this, whether that be burnout or anxiety at work, quiet quitting, all these things I'm convinced come back to the sense of being disconnected. But it turns out that it wasn't just Gen Z that was experiencing this disconnection because 72% of global workers is what we discovered, was actually experiencing this sense of uh, disconnection. So if these trends continue, we're gonna find ourselves, you and I are gonna be unfulfilled and ill, our communities are gonna be bitter and barren, and our organizations are gonna become undesirable and underperforming. I'm gonna prove all of that to you today. And along the way, you're gonna figure out what the Golden Gate Bridge, what astronauts, doorbells, Robin Williams, and the Alaskan landscape have to do with moving teams from isolated to all in. But then we investigated further and she actually wasn't distracted. She was actually being extraordinarily resourceful because she was on YouTube watching a video on how to operate a manual can opener. <laughs> She'd never used one of those before. <laughs> so that connects to this idea of dependency shift. You and I are less dependent on each other than ever before. When a device is connected, it's more powerful, intelligent, and useful. A connectable team experiences similar benefits. When workers are connected to the team, the work, and their leader, they are stronger, healthier, and more useful. Just like a smartphone was built to connect with other technology, humans are built to connect with other humans. We are all connectable. Connection is now the most valuable workplace currency. We're communicating, but we're not connected. So try to break those scripts so that we can start connecting at a different level with everybody, even if they're strangers. Communication is dealt, but connection is felt. The healthiest organizations have found a way to have concurrent commitments to human dignity and performance. They don't sacrifice well-being of employees for high performance. They also don't sacrifice performance to bend to every need of their employees. They strike a balance. The loneliness isn't the absence of people, it's the absence of connection. So connection can still be cultivated in a digital space. This research shows that time constraints severely limit our willingness to connect with others. They said they would be satisfied in, in this solitude condition, yet most people have the best experience in the connection condition. Here's what's happening. You and I, our brain is misleading us. We think that we're gonna be inconveniencing someone else. We think that we're not gonna be as well off if we strike up a conversation with someone around us, and it's not the case. Confusion spurs alienation. Clarity cultivates connection. There's a clear gap between the emerging generations and the established generations. And if we're first not aware that that gap exists and then we're not equipped with strategies to close that gap, that gap will continue to grow. And you'll find yourself more and more disconnected from the folks that you serve alongside. Generations are clues, they're not absolutes. But in my opinion, I think you're gonna agree with me after our time together, they're very big clues on how you lead, communicate, sell. So that again, better understand we have a each generation, the better equipped we are to thrive in today's multi-generational marketplace. If your 
team executes pro-social behaviors, it could ignite similar behaviors throughout your organization and even to the broader world, leading to healthier individuals, stronger families, and more united communities. When we foster environments where teams can thrive, big things happen. Our talent is in individuals, our strength is in numbers, and our hope is in leaders like you. So stay connectable.